Welcome back to United Gamers Authority. I'm Shade Hunter, and we're back in our master class with Conan Exiles Age of Sorcery. Things are going to be a bit, little bit different from here on out. We're going to get highly focused, but today we're going to be going over some debaucheries of some deities. One thing you all will notice is I've been busy, incredibly busy. It's expanded just a bit. But what we want to do is we want to go over the religions. Now, a lot of this upgrading was necessary to be able to, in a timely fashion, get a lot of the materials for all this. So, yeah. We'll get into that later. But right now, I would like to point out that uh, it was intentional, but I did not mention a certain religion. And that was Zath on the creation. Zath is interesting. And we'll get to that near the end. We're going to start on this side. You already saw me grab Yogg. And you get the purified flesh. And Yogg was right here. Shaman's Rest, or Shaman's Rise. And with this, yes, I am going to be doing this in the quickest, easiest fashion. Because I do not want to take the time to do so. I do not have the time to run to each one of these. So, Shaman's Rise, right here. It's in F4. Day four off here to the left. F four. And again, as a reminder, it's right up there. You just go up there and talk to the guy. That guy right there. Next. And you know what? I keep having random uh altars disappear. The last time I logged in, this one was gone. Now I've got one gone here. Good grief. Let me know if anybody has it has that problem where some of the altars disappear on your game. It shouldn't disappear because if you actually go in here to my religion, I actually have all of them. And that was the the whole purpose is to make sure that they it would be legitimate on me placing it. Next we have Mitra. Mitra's beginning power is the Ambrosia, and we're going to go ahead and get some of that so you guys can see what Ambrosia is. Ambrosia is a consumable. It gives strength weapon damage, which actually I should be using it, plus health, and there is no expiration timer on it. Now, the things that it requires, a lingering essence that you get from knocking people, uh, dead bodies with the Onk, the those linger essence they do expire. Same thing with this, the uh, unblemished human meat. It does expire. Now, where do you pick up Mitra? Well, I accidentally got Mitra in Sinner's Refuge right here. This is a place that you can go to gather thralls. It's full of Mitra people, but the main place that you would go would be right here. Your Isles Hope. 
It is E7 right here. And you talk to this lady right here, and she gives it to you. It's a pretty good one to start off with. Yogg. I would never start off with Yogg because Yogg is so close and easy to get. How I managed to land back on that is beyond me, but whatever. Next up, we have Set. Set is the... I guess you could say the Prince of Scales. He's a snake. Um, he get, You have the Ritual Knife, and when you... Uh, use it on dead bodies, you get a human heart, which again does expire. I'm not going to spawn the antidote. It is a potion. It removes poison. That's what it does. And to get set, you would go right here. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that, but yeah. Wow. How on earth did I land up here? Squish. And you talk to this guy. It's pretty easy. Right here in G7. So not too far from Mira's Hope. And that one's not too terribly hard to get. It's right on the edge of the savannah. You guys watched me go there. The entrance is around the edge here. If you wander around, you'll find it eventually. It's not too hard. Draketo. When you get this, you have Draketo's Kiss, the dagger. All, most of these are the same. Uh, if you notice, this is 15 and 5. Uh, this one is 15 and 5. This one is 15 and 5. Uh, Yogg is different. It is 5 and 30 bone. So, it's a little bit different. So, Draketo, when you get the slivers of the unfulfilled from bodies, you combine it with handfuls of insects and you get the elixir freedom and that will give you all right so every time you craft one of these it gives you the elixir freedom manifestation zeal every single one of these beginning things whether it's the antidote the elixir freedom the purified flesh ambrosia it will give you the manifestation zeal and that is how you go into these and upgrade them now, not all of them require the same thing. This one, I think they all require the brick, the zeal, and the wood. But each one has something different. Um, like this one requires bone. So, where do you get Turketo? Turketo is way over here in the, in the jungle. The only reason this one's a little bit more difficult is you have to kill a bunch of people to get there. And it's the Pagoda of Boundless Lusts. So, right here on the steps of the Pagoda, you have... People down there, over there, there's a campfire over there, there's somebody over there. There's a bunch of people around here that you actually have to kill to get up in here. Uh, they're not triggering on me because I'm in cloak mode. Um, good place to get some thralls, though. So, bunch of fighters, archers. So right in here, you'll see it looks similar to the temple back at the base. And you talk up and talk to this lady right here and learn it. It's pretty easy. It's right here. I submit to the goddess of pleasure. Oh my gosh, I should not have talked to that lady. Here in it's on the border of O and N five. It's like more so in O. It's right there. And there is a path to get up here. It's not too difficult. Emir. Emir is the cold hearted god. You make this hoarfrost hatchet which is, again, 15 iron and a stick, or branch. And then you would either make the ice or make the arrows. Most people make the arrows because they're very useful. Uh, again, I, they're arrows. You use them in a bow. I don't need to demonstrate that. To get to Emir, you go way up here into the north to this location here, the outcast camp. This giant guy right here, you just talk to him. The outcast, if, if once it actually allows you to. There we go. Uh, you talk to him, and he teaches you the Emir religion. That's why a lot of people start with him, because it's so far up here in the north. And you freeze getting here, so 
a lot of people start with that because all the others are pretty much easier to get. Next, we have Zath. Zath is the spider god. I was going to show you it. It is on the list of one you can start with. It's after Krom, and the reason I didn't mention it is because it seemed like to me it was an afterthought. A, oh yeah, maybe we should go ahead and add that in. Not to mention... It took them months to get the guy fixed to where you can actually learn Zath in Exile Lands. This Scuttler's Shortcut right here, there's actually two entrances to this. But this is the best one you want to go into because of what's in here. So you go in here and kill everything all the way. You know what? I'm just going to do this. And you'd have to kill all the spiders. I know it's super dark and YouTube is probably going to make it even darker. So let me grab a torch real quick. Kill the spiders. Yeah, you gotta go through spiders. There is some crystals in here, so you can get that. There is also, uh, if you use a sickle on a dead spider, you'll get the, this stuff right here, the gossamer. And you can turn gossamer into silk. So this is one location that you can come to get crystal and gossamer, so you can get the silk. But you have to be very careful down here in the near the end. It's, it's a long way down here, too. And there's a bunch of gossamer, so it's one location you can get silk. So you want to talk to this guy, and he teaches you Zath. But you have to be very careful because of that guy over there. This guy is nasty and ugly and disgusting. It is a demon queen spider thing. And it's nasty. And it has 14,560 armor or health and a lot of armor it's a pain in the butt oh and when you kill her and get her key there's the chest right there last but not least the one that you cannot start the game with jebel sucks i mean jebel sog or whatever uh i don't actually have this one so we're gonna go get it i have been busy because now i have a sumerian berserker follower So, to get to the dungeon, you talk to this guy, Child of Jebel Sog, Sag, whatever. And you learn the Midnight Alchemist, because to get to the dungeon, you have to make a potion. Now, I don't want to have to go back to the base and make the potion, so I'm just going to give this guy five feral flesh, and he's just going to give me the potion, so that I can get to it. Alright. We'll be back at the first boss.
And that's the last boss of the Jable Slug Dungeon. And he actually tells you consume the spoils of your victory, which means you have to come over here and use a skinning knife or cleaver. Um, you get it no matter what. It's a flesh of remembrance. Now if you use a cleaver, you get a whole lot more. But you don't need but one piece of it. Because you only need to eat one. And you... And you get it. And it, it, it goes away after a little bit. And there's really no reason to keep it. It serves no, no other purpose. So... That is it. That is the Jail Song Dungeon. And then after that... You have... Down here... And then you can get the blood letter dagger and create the night out potion to get the uh, manifestations of zeal and be able to upgrade it. So, what does it look like with the ball upgraded? I'll show you in a minute. All right. So that is what they all look at the second stage. That was the last one. Alright, so that is what they look like on the top tier. Now, one cool thing that I want to show you. Alright, now that it's relatively dark. Check that out. When the altars are at top tier, they emit a light. They also um, show up on the map. They have their own icons on the map. So this uh, weird one right here that's the home, I actually don't need that one on there. Because I, my home is the ring of altars. Now, unfortunately, um, without the less building placement restrictions, these altars are not allowed to be this close normally. So now, when we're standing on our platform in the middle and look up, it's just all the beams of light. And that's religion in a nutshell. Each one has special things that they that you get from them. I'm not going to go over each and every one because that would require a video for each religion. If you want a video series that covers every religion in depth, their items, what they can offer you... Let me know in the comments, and I would be glad to put out a series that dedicate that is just dedicated to the religions. If I may have missed anything, if I did not cover anything fully, please leave a comment, and I will be sure to address it. Thank you all for coming. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If anything was remotely helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and bell icon more notifications and more videos to come and i will catch you on the flip side later